Today we are drinking Gimlet's. Before we begin, I would like to take this moment to differentiate between a Gimlet and a Vodka Gimlet. A Gimlet is made with gin. It is not called a Gin Gimlet. That would be redundant. If you were to order a Gimlet, it would be served with gin. A Vodka Gimlet, you would have to specify with vodka. We are going to make a traditional Gimlet. It's not called a traditional Gimlet, just a Gimlet. Alright. Step number one. Admit you are thirsty. I'm thirsty. God, I'm thirsty. Step number two is add ice cubes to your shaker. I will be adding with these nice tongs that have been supplied for me, oops, in order to not contaminate the ingredients with my hands, which have not been washed. Alright, I'm using a very old shaker that's been in my family for quite some time. Came over from Europe. Step number three, add two jiggers of gin to shaker. Here you go, my friend. Thank you, sir. It's also uh, worth mentioning that the antique shaker there actually has a charcoal filter, which comes in handy in purifying the gin. This is not our favorite gin, it's an economical choice that we made. It should be noted that it's not a charcoal filter, it's actually the ashes of one of my ancestors acting in place of the charcoal. This was an urn at one time. Well that's what I meant by charcoal, I didn't know if I was going to infringe upon your emotional private life. Yeah, well. And I didn't want to bring that in okay. public. I accidentally sphere. used your, your jigger. That's okay. No problem. Okay, uh, step number four is add one jigger of Rose's sweetened lime juice. This is uh, originally made in England in the town of St. Albans, north of London. And it's, uh, it's a very delicious concoction. It's a sweetened lime juice that's been made from concentrate. It should also be noted that most people from England are sheep shaggers. I'm actually from Scotland. This is actually true and also one other thing. Uh, it is made from, from concentrate however it does contain a lot of high fructose corn syrup. Good point. Okay step number five. You want to cap your shaker Make sure the spout is also capped, and shake vigorously 12 times. Or, or more. Or more to taste. I enjoy shaking it more. Step number six is pour your now frigid concoction into a martini glass, or if you can find margarita glasses for $1.99, again, those savings can be put directly back into the liquor that you buy. So All go right. ahead and it's, uncap. It's important to note that mine has a handle because the mixture can become quite cold. Right, these aren't traditional martini glasses either. Turn the camera up. No, we gotta keep going. You alright? Uh, we gotta keep going. Uh, we don't have time for your emotional uh, outburst. Okay. Right. Step number seven. Add swizzle stick or colored toothpick to identify your drink in a party atmosphere. It's worth mentioning that a gimlet is often garnished with a lime wedge. Unfortunately, again, due to economic uh, uh, restrictions, that we are unable to afford a lime today, so we're reusing these. 
Yeah, that's actually a very good point. Thank you. Step number eight is glaze through your glass for stray pubes. It's, actually, it's actually gaze. I was actually drinking when I, when I created that I stuff. I don't see any lipstick traces on the margarita glass. Nor do I see any stray pubes. No, I don't see any on mine either. Actually, I see some nice legs happening from the giblet. Step number nine, establish eye contact. It's, it's okay, we're, we're all, sorry. when you get a little drinking, you'll feel better. Yeah, sorry. And step number 10 is clink glasses with a bro. Or a gal. Or a gal. Step number 11 is drink. That's delicious. That was very tasty. Step number 12 is repeat, but before you do so, it's worth mentioning that a gin gimlet, otherwise known as a gimlet, is a far more sophisticated drink than vodka gimlet. Gin is, is distilled from juniper berries. Vodka is distilled from grains or sometimes potatoes. <laughs>